Hey, my name is Amar Jod Singh and I'm going to record a video about how to get your CAPS notes. Many people who are refused for visa, work visa or any other visa overseas, they are wondering what did the visa officer write in my notes in your file and how did we find out and they are asking me or asking somebody else, please get my CAPS notes and nobody is able to help them. So it's very easy. I'm going to show on the screen how to do it yourself. So if you are in India, uh, you can ask your wife in Canada to do it for you. So I'm going to type caps notes on Google and Google knows everything. I guess Google tells me is right on the first screen how to make a request under access to information. And I click on it and it tells me everything about, uh, hopefully it tells me everything about uh, how to get this request. One of the things which I, I should want to show you, it cost only $5. Uh, some companies are charging 100 200 300 I heard some companies are charging even $500 for this, but hey, if you want to save money, you can do it on your own. If you pay enough attention here on this video, you possibly can learn, and maybe you can do it for other people as well. So there are two options. One is to apply online, see on the screen. The second is by mail. Uh, I don't think you want to go through the mail route right now. It might be a little problematic for you from outside and, you know, just a little... Uh, uh, you know, just let's let's go to online. Uh, I click on online. You require a credit card or debit card uh, to pay the thing. You also need uh, access to information, um, uh, a consent form. Let me show you a consent form. So I go to IRCC forms and I show you. It's called form number five seven four four. Let me just get this form five seven four four. Where is five seven four four? Here it is. So it's called consent for an access. So this is the form that you will sign and give it to the wife in Canada so that you are providing her authority that she can get the information on your behalf. All right. So we need a relationship because a person who is not a Canadian citizen or a PR living overseas, uh, they have no right to do it on your own. Just like the RTI in India, you know, you have to be in India you have to be Indian citizen to get the information. You cannot imagine a Canadian citizen getting an RTI for somebody uh, who's who's not in India or does not have any connection with it. So this is the form. You fill this form, designated rep. So your wife becomes the rep. She 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 puts her name here, family name, surname, given name, you know, organization, phone number, uh, address, everything. So it's if it's in Canada, then there's no problem. Uh, you know, uh, she doesn't even have to be a Canadian citizen of PR based on just the uh, just the study visa. She can do it, uh, uh, you know, fill the, all this information. Applicant is you, the person who has been refused. So your surname, given name, date of birth, and you have to sign in blue ink. I don't know why they did in blue ink, but, you know, blue ink is blue ink. No black ink and put the date in. And that's it. And then you print the form uh, on the top here, save or print the form. And that's it. You send the form to your wife. And your wife starts filling up this form online and then you can go from there. We are clicking next. So we go from here. So this is a lot of information here. You have to say read. Yes, of course. Otherwise, it will not allow you to proceed. So you, I click on continue and here it is. Here's the form. So I go to click. Uh, you have to select the uh, immigration. That's what we are getting it from. To be, It tells you clearly. To be eligible to make a request, you must be a Canadian citizen, a PR, or an individual uh, present in Canada. So your wife, whether or not she has the study visa, she can still apply for you. I have, I have seen many people who may not have the visa, but they are illegal, they are undocumented. They still can file this request because they are physically present in Canada. So that is the key here. All right, so I'm going to I have to select who you are. So let's say individual present in Canada. So I have to use some names here now. So I'm going to do wife, wife name or wife, you know, whatever. Uh, wife two. I'm just typing some at random name because I have to fill the form. All right, so five two. Uh, you know, street name is Warp or anything. So I'm going to type my city at Minton and uh, A B Alberta. I have to type my postal code T six X zero Z six. I have to fill up something. Um, seven seven eight seven eight zero seven four five one. Any at random or like something. So email anything. I have to go. I got to fill something to show you. Uh, just to go to the next screen. All right. FD at gmail dot com. You fill something, 
And so now, are you requesting information on your own behalf? No, I'm requesting information for my husband. All right, so I, I go, no. Are you requesting somebody who's dead? No, of course. Select the category, who are you? So you have to select who you are. Let me just show you on here. So I could be academia or I could be business, private sector, or I just could put a member of public. And how do you want this? You want something in email. So I go continue and I want the screen to move forward so that I can show you what they're asking. All right. So it tells you everything uh, to go and I have to select uh, it's under access to information. What kind of records I need only immigration records. All right. So now. The wife is saying, what is the name of my husband? So I'm going to write some name here, saying JJ or something, H E. So what is the date of birth? I have to write some date of birth, 0505. I have to write some client ID. So client ID is listed on your, uh, on your refusal letter. All right, so something. So what kind of records I need? I need temporary residence, which is the work visa. And uh, what are you looking for? This is important here. So I'm looking for... The reasons of uh, re uh, refusal of the officer's electronic notes, that's what I'm looking for. Or I can get the, all the documents. Uh, you know, imagine this. I mean, if I have done the application through a travel agent and the travel agent has added uh, some documents fraudulently in my application and I do not know what they added. I've got so many examples where people say, uh, oh, we gave uh, 500 photographs, but the travel agent only added 10 photographs so now i need to know what was submitted in the application form so i can choose this this section and then i can go from there i can choose the this one as well so whichever one you like so i have to write a file number so file number or whatever file number i have to write some file number and uh, con continue and then let's see what's going on we move forward and now we have to attach some documents. So this is the concern. So I have to attach the document, which is 5744. Remember this form uh, that I showed you? This form must be filled uh, and saved and then signed by the husband, given to the wife, so the wife can attach this document here. So I've got to attach some document. Otherwise, I cannot move forward uh, to move forward here. So let me see. And, and that's it. I click Continue. I hope you know, uh, we have the right form, but I'm just showing you as a dummy. All right, so let's go and we have all the things. So, uh, uh, you know, shown here and uh, I press continue and we are on. And now we are on the last page. It requires $5 here. So I proceed to uh, secure checkout. I need to have a credit card, I guess. So then I can... I can pay, so I click here, Visa MasterCard, and click, click, click. I can, I can pay. All right, so this is this is how it goes. So it requires, uh, I think, Visa debit also, which I did not know. I thought only credit card. So Visa debit also, MasterCard, you know, or if you're in Canada, you can do Interact also. Interact is also, you know, nice and easy. So this is how you can do. And then once the application is submitted, you get a receipt for five dollars, and that's a receipt within about thirty to forty days. You should be able to get everything in email. You will see exactly what is written on it. So that's all it is. So you can do it on your own or you can throw money and give it to other people and they can do it for you. Hey, but uh, this is my philosophy. I want people to learn. I want people to, um, you know, to understand how this is done so that you can do it on your own. So if you have any comments about this, please uh, uh, show me some comments so maybe I can answer them selectively. And I want you to share this with your friends and other people so that they can learn also. And then you can go from there. All right. So that's all I had to say. Uh, and uh, I hope to see you soon in some other. So I didn't pay the money. So it's show, showing the payment has not been approved. So I'm going to cancel this now. And that's it for now. Thank you very much.